No matter how bad they want the collab, I ain't friends with Uzi. So that's exactly what Yachty said. In addition to some other lyrics that we're gonna go over because a lot of people in the comments after Uzi somewhat responded, not mentioning any names as he should. He's kind of being like, get down there, little bro. You're not my level, which I would say Yachty really isn't on the same level as Uzi when it comes to numbers, musically, all that. Like Uzi just had way bigger of an impact, I guess. Um, but but Yachty did have some big hits. I, I do have to give him credit there. But personally, it was kind of like meme songs as opposed to Uzi just had bangers, right? But anyway, as I was saying, so Uzi responds on his Instagram story finally after Yachty dissed him. And yes, wholeheartedly, I can say, and I will say that he dissed him. I don't care what and none of these dumbasses say like, oh no, bro, like y'all are starting drama. Again, we'll go over that in a second. But Uzi said, in his story, y'all rappers that be saying my name, just be ready. Again, who else would he be talking about? It, like he said, y'all rappers that be saying my name. Who's the last rapper that mentioned his name? Literally in the song. Yachty. He said, I ain't friends with Uzi. And then he mentioned a whole bunch of other lyrics. I don't know what y'all think changed. The bum back season. <laughs> Please, we don't need the part of 16 anymore. We just want Love is Rage 3. Okay. The bum back season. By the way, my music wasn't hitting the same because I didn't go through shit. I recently went through something. Broken hearts. Or actually, that just means Love is Rage 3. Because the heart, love is, yeah, you get it. The breakup stories. I think yesterday Uzi also mentioned something about continuing the tease. Love is Rage 3. Yeah, there we go. On a plane somewhere. Who knows where he's going. As I was saying though. So, if you don't think this is a diss. Because again, I was arguing with somebody. Probably shouldn't even give them my time. But I had some time this morning after I got something done. They were like. This ain't even a diss, y'all are reaching, blah, blah, blah. So in the song, we're not gonna listen to it again because it's probably copyrighted at this point, but there was a song that previewed on OVO Sound Radio, I believe the night before Drake or the same night that the Drake album dropped, and it was an unreleased track by Yachty called Mr. Fortune. And it said, no matter how bad they want the collab, I ain't friends with Uzi. And then there was like an uncensored version of the song because before it was blanked out, and so now it's clearly he said Uzi before we had to like infer it was because Snoopy Mookie and then we're like what other rapper rhymes with any of those words. But then it did turn out to be Uzi. I'd rather go see O at Juvie. I'd rather drink an onion smoothie. I never click up with a goofy. If you're calling somebody a goofy, those are fighting words, bro. I know Uzi's small, but he might dick you down. Pause. When it comes to music, Love is Raiders 3, what, what's the last thing? Look, I like the last Yachty album. But like, what did you sell? Like 15K, maybe 30K tops, something like that, if I remember, <laughs> recall correctly. Uzi could literally drop a SoundCloud exclusive right now and it's selling that. Anyway, though, so uh, some more information that I just found out, actually. Maybe I went over this before, but I just forgot. But Yachty was apparently on at the gates which was the song that Uzi was on, Drake's song. It was previewed on OVO Sound Radio like a year ago. And so if Yachty had a feature on that song too, he's kind of referring to this song in the Mr. Fortune song because he didn't want to collab with Uzi because he's not friends with him. So he essentially made it so Drake, I'm just hypothetically talking here, didn't so Drake did not release the song because of Yachty because Uzi and Yachty are on the same song. Again, though, that's all speculation. Nobody really knows. But I'd just like to talk about how it's funny how Yachty was claiming that he didn't diss Uzi, yet he literally, like it said Uzi in the genius lyrics. He didn't think that he'd get exposed like that. He didn't think the uncensored version would drop. He responded to some FBG Wayno on Twitter who said rappers will clearly diss another rapper publicly and backpedal when they get called, called out on it. Facts. And he, he's literally backpedaling right now. I didn't diss him. I said we won't collab because we're not friends. We aren't. We are cordial. Y'all are gay. Meanwhile, bro is uh, painting his nails. But you know, I just, hey, you don't have to. I'm not dissing gay people out here. I love my homosexuals. <laughs>
Not that way though. But as I said before, he did he, he did more than just like say they're not friends. I never click up with a goofy. Again, if somebody called me a goofy, I might have to knock out their two front teeth. As I was saying though. So then he goes on and says, and this is just all old news, but I want to read the context over again just because Yachty's kind of contradicting himself here. You people go around living your life acting like you know us. Shit is OD weird. Y'all be grown men too. On here trying to piece shit together. Don't be knowing nothing. Get a job. You guys are so delusional. Again, the proof is literally right there. You dissed him. I'm sorry. We're not going to get too far into it. It's fine. I don't really care all too much, but like he's just butthurt a little bit because he got exposed. I like both artists. I would just like to say that, but I do like how Uzi got a chip on his shoulder now. He got dissed by Yachty. By the way, I want to say Uzi's kind of been getting destroyed on the internet the past couple of years, especially with Cardi. I don't know. Just his just the Twitter community favors Cardi or just social media favors Cardi right now because he's so rare or whatever the reason is. But it's nice to see how when somebody disses Uzi, everybody and their mom was coming out defending him being like, Yachty, settle down, little bro. Uzi's still a goat. You can't touch him. So now Uzi again has a chip on his shoulder. As we said before, y'all rappers that be saying my name, just be ready. He's not even mentioning Yachty. He's like, okay, you want to mention me in your song? Well, we're not going to say no names. We're just going to start mentioning like different types of boats in the lyrics i'm talking about how he's a pirate now he's gonna start shooting cannonballs all over your girl's face all that but yeah so uzi's coming back hopefully love is rage 3 is fire um so that he can shut lil yachty up make him eat his words real quick i'd also like to bring up the point that love is rage 3 is a crucial album for uzi and i think we all know it it's kind of like, I don't know, we've said that about Trippy Red the past few projects and he's delivered on some of them like Trip at Night and personally I like Mansion Music but I know a lot of people hated that but back to Uzi. So he's kind of gotten a pass just because of how much of an OG and an all time great he is just from his previous catalog but like I think we can all admit that Pink Tape was not his best project. Um, Eternal Take was a great rollout, but I feel like that was better than the actual music itself. Even though maybe it's grown on us a little bit, but it just, I don't know, it wasn't as great as Love Is Rage 2. Like, we're still playing that to this day, it's still in the rotation, whereas Eternal Attack has kind of fallen out just a little bit. Maybe that's not even Uzi's fault. Maybe that's just the music landscape nowadays where if, you know, you have so many albums to listen to every single week or every single month that like you don't have time to sit there and really digest a project anymore. But as I was saying, I think that Love is Rage 3, as he said before, like he has something to prove basically. He's actually going through something now, so it didn't hit the same. So I'm glad that he's self-aware enough to know that maybe Barter 16 wasn't the move. Like it's time to actually have an impactful album, such as Love is Rage 3, which is the obviously follow up to not the sequel but the whatever this the third sequel is to love is rage love is rage 2 love is rage 3 which had exo tour life and some of his biggest hits on there sauced it up uh what's the one with Nicki minaj the way life goes like again that's just an iconic album with so many hits on there love is rage 3 though he needs to come back with something so that there are no doubters and i think that after people coming back to uh back up uzi against yachty that's that's a step in the right direction for me like people want to see uzi win 